All right, so, um, wish. We're going to do a wish worth making. I'm going to do this with Julie Michaels, but then um, we, I'm co-writing it with Julie Michaels, and then, like, Danielle Fong and I are going to, like, sing it. Because I like Danielle Fong. Like, song me 451 and Chang, because that's me and Danielle. <laughs> um, but, like, that's also what it is. It's frustrating because Danielle Fong was, like, a dam that was made to try to attack the magic. And so it's, like, it's frustrating because she didn't do that. That's the whole thing with Eros and, like, Hercules and Hades and Megara. It's just, like, I just don't fuck with that. <laughs> but anyway, so, like, that's what's happening. So me and Danielle, it's, like, the water. So, like, the dam wasn't shaking our water. So, like, so we're going to, like, soothe that. We're going to thaw that. We're going to ride ourselves out of this river in this Witch Worth Making movie. Because, like, there's sand in the, in the ocean, right? And that was where Elsa was battling or whatever. And it's like there's sand in there. And like, um, we're gonna like uh rise the sand out of the out of the like the depths of Alcoholin. Which again, we we did that already. So like I've already detailed that. So that's been in some of the um the promos. But like this is really interesting because like this like the abyss, like the dark abyss, that is Atlantis. I figured that out. Like, the Dark Abyss that's in the God's Rain book, plural, <laughs> like, the Dark Abyss that is in that book is Atlantis, and that was why everyone spent their life trying to put it into words, and that was why, like, I See the Light was entangled, because it was a water movie, and, like, the fire arrow that I shot on my ceiling tile is arrows, but it's a water arrow, it's watercolor, it was made with paint, <laughs> and so, like, I think that was the whole point of Jingle. Is that, like, it's a water movie, and, like, it's, like, fun to write about dragons, and, like, I was, that might have been why they introduced me to Danielle Fawn, because she's Asian, and, like, Asian culture, they're water dragons, so, like, they were trying to be, like, hey, they're water dragons, and, like, brand flakes, like, your brand flakes, and, like, that was what was happening, and they were trying to be, like, hey, Brand flakes and paper towels and like raisins and sunly and like Corona. That was the whole point of the movie, but like it also wasn't necessary to make the movie at all, <laughs> which is also why it was frustrating because it's like it was totally unnecessary to even make a movie because I was practicing writing as a teenager. So it's like that was what it was. It was like really frustrating because people were being like, hey, like, your raisin bran and your bran flakes, and, like, that's important, but, like, it also wasn't necessary because I was practicing writing because I'm a liberal, <laughs> and so it's, like, that was why Corona was blue and why Show Yourself was so blue and powerful because it was a fantasy story and it was practiced because I was a teenager. <laughs> like, that's why it was so frustrating, but, and also, like, the Goosebumps thing and, like, all of this stuff that has been happening because was, there was a trick that happened in Aladdin, and, like, the microphones in Aladdin, it's a trick. The cell phones, it, that's what it is. <laughs> and so Atlantis, the dark abyss that is the darkness, the dark abyss, it's, that's where Atlantis sank to, because I could sense it, because I was getting gaslit by Mother Gothel. <laughs> like, that's the whole point of the movie. It's actually really funny. Um, so, in the, like, we just did, like, the Novera just happened, the final battle for the Healing Realm just happened. Um, and so this Julia Michaels wish, a uh, wish worth making, that manifested um, after that. So that's actually really cool because that is like, oh, Julia Michaels, like I, she, I don't know if she like received my signal and was like, oh, the 11 realms battle. And then like, so that, that incorporates either she received that specifically and then was like, oh, let's uh, do the animation for this song that we co-wrote together and have been like singing together. Um, I don't know if she specifically, uh, like received that and then like she was like oh yeah let's do this because like i have received your transmission or if it was like just the the, the wish team in general was like oh it's december 1st so this is the day we were going to post this anyways i don't necessarily know which of those things happened but we're figuring that out and it's fun <laughs> but yeah like that's what's happening also the agnar and iduna photos that are in uh, at the end of, uh, Frozen 2, that is the scene where Rafiki is, like, Simba is alive. He's drawing a painting on a tree. That's what 
that's what that is. Like, Anna made that in Arendelle because I was talking to them. <laughs> I was talking to Los Angeles for the first time. The wind was how talking for the first time. Um, she said talking, not howling, but then I was howling because I can do both. But yeah, like, that was what was happening, though. So it's like the wind was talking. And then so, like, that was also what happened with Rafiki. Like, the wind is, like, uh, that's why, that's what the scene is with the Arendelle and the Enchanted Forest, actually. Is like they're they're communicating with Gale, and like the Wind Spirit because like they learned that Agnar was alive and she made the statues, or that is literally Agnar. Um, we've gone over that already. Like that, it might literally just be me and Arendelle like um, dying or whatever. But either way, what that statue is, whether that is literally me or not, is Agnar is alive. Like Simba is alive. I posted a photo of Simba um, in that the time frame of that movie. And so, like, that's what the statue actually is. The Simba is alive. Like, that's what that is. Rafiki carves um, Simba, a photo, uh, like, a painting of Simba on a tree with a fruit, with a smashed fruit, with the juice of a fruit on a tree in Lion King. And so, like, that's what that statue is at the end of the movie, is Simba is alive. And then, like, Elsa goes to Otahala, and then they're communicating with Gale, because, like, they're, they were, like, she said, we're going for a ride when we come like they were going like said people would usually start looking for a miracle because they were looking for eugene because arendelle should stand with eugene that was what the whole point of the movie was is that was what happened at the end of the film and it's awesome also she even says our lands and people not connected by love and then like king runar said our neighbors are friends the time has come for you like it is time Rafiki. it's time already you want to live the king like that's what the that's what happened at the end of the movie because she's saying that's the whole point of the end of the film is Agnar is alive Eugene is alive she didn't necessarily know where he was I don't think um, because like we see the deleted scene where Agnar is like in those leaves and so like but she didn't see that so like I don't think that she knows that that is possibly actually him because <laughs> um, like I don't know if Elsa knew that that was actually Agnar in the enchanted forest like that was actually literally me in the enchanted forest just like hanging out with this book because none of the shit is real it's goosebumps and so like i don't know if elsa knew that that was literally him but she was going to Otto hall in the end of the movie which is like san francisco which also makes sense because the mist has to close and there's like a police like station in san francisco so, like, that was where she was going, is that, like, I don't necessarily think that it means that everybody who goes there is going to prison. I think it just means that there is a prison there, because there is a prison in San Francisco. But, like, Otto Holland, like, if you look at Hito riding Baymax to San Francisco, that is the same scene as the Otto Holland scene in Corona. And there's police horses in Corona, and there is a police station in uh, San Francisco. So, like, that was what was happening. Somebody was getting arrested and at the end of Frozen 2, it didn't necessarily say who it was, but, like, Elsa and the Nock were going to Otto Holland, and somebody was getting arrested in Otto Holland. And I think Agnar made all of the forest, the, all of the spirits in the Enchanted Forest. I think that was the whole point of the story, is that, like, in the first movie, they're going to find Elsa, and, like, she makes Marshmallow and uh, Olaf, and they're alive. And then she's trying to go to Otto Holland, and then, like, Agnar makes the Nock, and it's trying to drown that bitch. <laughs> um, and it's really funny. But, like, I think that that's what's happening. Is that it's like, um, she is, like, going to Otto Holland. Because, like, he makes the knock because he's, like, she's, like, going there. And, like, I think that that's the whole point of the movie. Is because, like, she is trying to get to Otto Holland. Because, like, she knows that she's, like, sensing something there or something. But Agnar is, like, sending this, like, the knock after her, I think. Because, like, and that might even be kind of something that's happening with Magnifico and Asha. It's because Agnar is in there with his book, and then, like, these red people, just like the red people were trying to attack Elsa, like, these red people are trying to, like, um, like, trying to, like, force these consequences on Agnar for his writing. And that's what she said, Runar betrayed everybody. Because, like, at, like, these red people are trying to force these consequences on, these, like, physical consequences on Agnar for his writing. But he didn't fucking do anything. Like, he's writing stuff that's kind of negative, and, like, Elsa doesn't mind it. Anna does. That's why it's taking her forever, and that's why Agnar doesn't fuck with Anna, because <laughs> she's slow. <laughs> and I think that that's the whole point of the movie, is that, like, 
Anna is like taking forever to do everything. And like Agnar is like doesn't fuck with it because she's taking too long. <laughs> and like I think that's the whole point of the movie. It's like he was watching Game of Thrones. He was just hanging out in there in the Enchanted Forest, like doing awesome stuff. And these red people tried to make it physical. And he was like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> that was the whole point of the movie. And, like, Agnar and Elsa are just, like, hanging out in there because they neither of them gives a fuck about words and freedom of speech. But, like, it's taking Anna literally, like, an eternity to do anything because she's fucking retarded. And Agnar is like, you're fucking stupid, bitch. And I'm about to have to come to Arendelle. And so I came home, king of Arendelle, come my darling homeward bound. Now, at last, you can come home. Like, Hercules. <laughs> because that was what was happening. It's like, now I have to fucking go to Arendelle. And have to talk to fucking dumbass bitch Anna because she's fucking stupid as shit. And she's taking fucking forever to do fucking anything. <laughs> and like, it's so fucking obnoxious. And Agnar is just like, fuck, I have to go to fucking Arendelle and talk to fucking stupid bitch Anna because she's fucking dumb. And she thinks that I'm her father and like Elsa doesn't. <laughs> and it's just like, this is the answer to all the questions. Are you the answer I've been waiting for? The point of them painting. The Nelson Atkins Museum. I posted the photo because Anna like made the thing Agnar is alive, and I posted the photo online, and then they brought me here because they were looking for me because I wasn't dead, <laughs> like Simba. <laughs> like that's the whole point of the movie. And like Agnar is like, oh, why is this taking so long? <laughs> like it's taking so long because you're dumb and red, and that was like it was so stupid. <laughs> And, like, he's just trying to hang out with Elsa in the forest because neither of them gives a shit about words, but Anna's taking forever. And it's like, oh, why is this taking me so long? Why do you think I'm actually your father? Why are you so stupid? <laughs> and so, like, that's what, the, that's what the whole thing is. That's what the scene is. But anyways, it's funny. So then, like, there's this statue in there because, like, he's, like, I posted that daughter song, but he's also, like, it's a father figure. It's not a real thing. But Anna is, is taking her too long to figure that out. And, like, Elsa figured it out really fast. That's why I fuck with Elsa. I don't fuck with Anna, because she's stupid. <laughs> and, like, that was the whole point of the movie. But anyways, um, so then, like, so now let's do this water restoration scene. So, like, this sand, and, like, that was kind of me, like, guiding Elsa. And, like, the sand is important because, like, the, um, the sand in the, in Atahalan, which is presumably at the depths of the ocean, but that's what Agnar's power is. That's why he's blonde. And, like, Elsa's hair is sand. It's not, um, it's not ice. It looks like ice, but you can very clearly see that Anna's hair is white. Elsa's hair is, like, yellow gold because her power is sand. Anna's power, Anna got struck with ice, which is a power of Elsa's, but it's not her all of what she does. And so, like, that's why it's so frustrating because, like, Agnar is, like, um, Ventus, like, asleep on the throne, more or less. And, like, she is, like, going there, and, like, there was a thing with Aqua, the battle with Aqua, and Mickey battled Aqua and Kingdom Hearts. And so all of these things, like, they all worked for one is kind of what was happening. And then there was, like, the nominee situation, and, like, I know your name, like, Tahiti, and, like, the Elsa dress transformation. Because, like, Agnar was telling Elsa in the forest, like, I'm telling Elsa now, that I was, like, I like you, Gabriel. Like, I didn't see you as a mirror of myself because I'm not stupid, and I don't need that. <laughs> and then secondly, like, I, you can cosplay as Daniel Radcliffe or whatever if you want to. Like, people can do that, like, as long as people know that it's fun, like, that it's for funsies. But then there are also people who are cosplaying, but they're also trying to get my attention and tell me that, like, I was being exploited. So, like, there was all of these things happening. And so, like, in Atahala, and Agnar is, like, telling Elsa that he, like, appreciates that, but also that he didn't really need her to be a mirror of himself because he she is her own person, like Domine. And that's why it has to be me, like Ventus, Sora. That's the whole point. But it was like, this wasn't necessary at all. But like, there was this like, this whole like, um, culture war, ego battle, identity, politics, like struggle of like, I like you as you are, like someone like me. Like, I like you as you are. <laughs> Um, I don't need you to, like, be a mirror of me or something. Like, you're, I didn't, and any time that I was talking to her, I was like, you are an individual that I'm talking to. I don't, I'm not talking to, like, a slave or, like, somebody who is, like, like, mirroring me. I don't, I, I don't do that. <laughs> and that's the whole, that's, like, why, that was the whole point of what was happening in alcohol. It was, like, you are your own person. Like, I like you as you are. I like to hang out with you. Like, you're really cool and you're smart and you're funny. 
I don't think you didn't think that you are literally me. That's the whole point of the story. But uh, anyways, like that's what it is. It's just it's pretend. It's fun. <laughs> And that was what was happening in the consoles. We were just hanging out. We we're like, oh, we really like each other. We're like, we're like rivals and we're like competing with each other, but we're also like having a great time because it's all for fun. But then like someone tried to make it not for fun, and then we were like, this is stupid. <laughs> that was the whole point of the story. But anyways, um, yeah, so like that's what was happening. And so then also like I obviously see her as a woman. Like that's the whole point. If I didn't see her as somebody who was like a beard or somebody who was like a stand-in for Daniel Radcliffe or a stand-in for some guy or something I was like no I like Danielle Baum this specific little Asian girl <laughs> like with the Dawn is what comes in because there was a character named Dawn in my story who was like older than Danielle but also like it wasn't a real person <laughs> it was just kind of inspired by her but I wasn't like it wasn't a replacement it wasn't a real person at all <laughs> that was the whole point of the story like once upon a December I was just like recollecting people that I knew because I liked them and I got kidnapped and they didn't know that I got kidnapped and so like that's the whole point of the story but anyways so like that's what was happening and that was what happened in Kanto people started piecing it together they were like oh you're getting really exploited and I was like yeah I am um and so like that was what was happening it's like so then we cleared up these misconceptions and it was like oh that's what's actually happening and I was like yes I actually like this specific girl like she's cool I like her <laughs> She is entertaining, but I don't, I'm not talking to a guy, like, I'm not, like, seeing her as some, as a guy that is, like, pretending to be a girl. I was talking to her, like, <laughs> and that's what she said. It was the first time that a pure blood had shown her kindness, because that was the point, <clears throat> is I was like, I don't, I'm not interested in this. <laughs> I don't need this, you, I don't need some person, like, to be like, oh, here's this girl, and then, like, oh, just kidding, like, here's this guy that you can be friends with now that, like, you talk to this girl or whatever. And I'm like, no, I like her. <laughs> and so it's like, what are you talking about? Well, it's like, I don't want to have sex with her. Like, I wasn't trying to date her. I want to have a boyfriend, and I want to have a friend that is a female because she's funny. <laughs> and so I was like, this is so stupid. <laughs> I was so infuriated. I was like, what the fuck? But yeah, like, so that's what that's what's happening. <laughs> but okay, so now, <laughs> now let's do this. Now let's do this fire thing. <laughs> okay, because that's what it is. Simba is alive. Like, Agnar is alive. Because that means that I, A, literally didn't die in that car accident, but it also it's like I literally, like, didn't get converted. Like, I'm alive. Like, I am the same. Like, everything will never be the same again. Like, I am the same. I am gay. They didn't convert me. Like, Agnar is alive. That is the second movie. Jennifer Lee was like, oh, this is a complete story. And it's not going to be a trilogy. And then they're like, oh, the Frozen 3, and I'm like, bitch, I knew that already, <laughs> because I could see on the logo that it was only halfway, like, um, unfrozen, it was only halfway thought, and I was like, bitch, I fucking know that there's gonna be a third movie, and then what happened? There was a third movie, that's the whole point, <laughs> I was like, I'm not fucking stupid, Jennifer Lee, <laughs> but, like, so that's what happened, anyway, like, it's fine, but, so then I posted that Eugene thing on the internet, and but like oh yeah she also told me that she that there was a gay character in the story Agnar but we have to break the, we have to break the dam first because I was like I'm not fucking doing this shit in therapy and so like that's what was happening I was like yeah, uh, you can depict a gay character of me but you're not about to fucking like therapy trash it bro and so that's what was happening is I was like well, I'm not doing that <laughs> I was like I'm not fucking doing that if you're gonna depict me as a gay character you're depicting me as a gay character with rights <laughs> bitch <laughs> Um, but yeah, so like that's what was happening. And so now let's go over like the sand. So like the time the the Julia Michaels wish worth making like uh animated scene was posted earlier today, several hours ago. But um I'm gonna post that. Oh like so so that was posted earlier today before I actually did this recording session. And so I am doing this recording session so that we can animate this into the the video but i'm putting a caveat on it which is like i we've said this already but like i'm putting this caveat on it of like we have to like get to the point where we are where the time stamps like we're ma I'm mastering time so we have to get to the point where the time stamps are in line with when the when when it was actually posted because like i i was doing this thing in Miriam where i was like freeze this this video in time or whatever and I think I can actually do that. Like, 
<laughs> something wrong with him. He can please people. Like, I think that I can actually literally do that. Is that it's like, I can, like, I was doing that thing where I was like, freeze this YouTube in time. And I froze all of YouTube in time, actually. And I wonder if that's actually what happened. Like, that's what the movie is. But, like, I think that that's what it is. Like, I actually can literally do that, which is really funny. Um, but yeah, so like I can literally freeze things in time. So then I unfroze it. I learned both of these powers. And so now let's do an awakening signal, like a lasting awakening signal. Of like I'm awakening. I'm, I'm remembering that I know how to do that. So I'm sure you guys are probably looking for it. So that just happened. Also the Spring Hill Dawn photo, like I'm sure this, the like Bunker Hill, like the city was probably trying to have me post a photo of my like head <laughs> like my brain city and then have this be the city that's probably what they were trying to earn um so that's probably a thing like you and the beast was in the the title in the teaser trailer so maybe that's what they were trying to earn and then that happened yesterday and then so that was probably in the animated or in the animated wish a wish worth making thing so how about this is what we do <laughs> how about what we do is um a wish worth making is like, we have the animated Dawn photo of my... It's not... It doesn't say Dawn. So we have the Dawn photo, which is, like, in Encanto. But they were probably trying to earn my actual brain, like, the real you, not just a wish in the stars. They were probably trying to earn my actual neurological brain city in this city with the actual city. So we just did that yesterday. So, like, Encanto has the Dawn on it, which was, like, kind of a tick off sort of thing because the dam hadn't been broken yet. And... Um, that's like the identity thief references were there or whatever. And so like the dam hasn't been broken yet. And like the identity thief thing had to be like kind of uncovered. And so that has happened. And so then the wish worth making animated scene, like that can be a point in time where we're like, okay, so this scene is the scene where he like did where we earned it. And I did my, like my actual me with my head or whatever. And so that's where like, where the timestamp can be. And then we're going to do this scene where I've actually done, like, the verbal context. And so we'll have, like, these two timestamps where it's, like, we have the one with the verbal context and the one with my head that doesn't have the dawn on it. And so we'll have those be, like, our time frame. And so then, like, we'll have those there. And so, like, what that can symbolize is it is imperative that we have the dates accurately reflect when the video was posted so that people click on something and i'm like freezing that in time that is a power that i have so when people click on something they're aware this was uploaded at this point in time on this day <laughs> and i know that that's the whole point of the dance because they didn't want people to know precisely when things happened that was the whole point because they were trying to make a frenzy they were trying to make people they were sabotaging it <laughs> so like that was the whole point of the story so like it is imperative that we correct that sabotage and so we have these two points in time these time frames that is like um the uh the photo of my head in spring hill is the that was where the video was actually literally posted like we know that that photo was posted before they uploaded the uh uh wish worth making animated scene so that is like as for authenticity and accountability like we are aware that it is actually possible that this information this material was actually in this uh was actually in this um scene like the scene that they actually uploaded for like authenticity and accountability and so then this scene is kind of like the control group like the uh like this kind of is like the time frame of like the control group of hey this is when we actually like um like did the context for the film and so we'll have be able to juxtapose these two things and be like oh okay so this is actually like what has like the reference material because it was important that i added this context to it so that we like animated this properly but we also have to be aware that like we are transitioning to smoothing out the time and so like the water where elsa is that is all thawing and that is like the new city that we're building so like that's my brain city that's all thawing um that's like you know neural like cerebrospinal fluid like that's what all of that is and the sand is like the time reconstructing in my brain and we posted those water links and the gold like uh those gold that gold imagery of the brain that was like even in strange world 
so like these things are kind of coalescing and so like we have this like neurological map of like we're aware like awakening signal we're like aware that um we have to be like it is imperative that we correct this time but we also are like not like getting ahead of ourselves we know that it hasn't been fully corrected yet the dam hasn't been fully broken yet we haven't fully arrived there yet but we are aware so people can see like oh we're on course so it's kind of like the titanic was sinking like the minecraft game was a titanic game that was sinking but just like in passengers we arrived there and we like reconstructed the ship and did not sink because our our type our ship is better than the titanic <laughs> And so, like, that's the whole point of the story. It's like, we're on course now. The ship is on course now, and it's fine. So, like, that's really, that's really great. It didn't sink. I don't know. It didn't sink. The ship didn't sink, and it's on course. So, we're good. <laughs> um, and so, that's really important. Also, passengers, I said before we got here, make it look like the ship and passengers. So, that's also important because at the end of that movie, you don't actually know if Aurora and Chris Pratt's character like Chris Pine you don't actually know if Aurora and Chris Pratt's character, like, die. Like, all you see is, like, them arri like the ship arrives to Homestead 2, but, like, it was a giant ship, and there were, most of the people were asleep. So all you really see is people waking up, and you hear um, J Jennifer Lawrence's character, like, doing a voiceover or whatever. Also, Lawrence Fishburne, Jennifer Lawrence, is that the same character? Because was that me on the cross? Possibly it was an ice cross, and she was cryogenically frozen. And it was like an enchantment, it was like a river, so that could have literally been me. That's very possible. But anyways, um, so like that's really interesting. I think that would be really interesting to see is, because like you also, there are scenes where Aurora is, is Sleeping Beauty. So like there are scenes where Aurora is talking to Chris Pratt's character, and he's talking to her, and the, um, he's talking to her, and the like, the microphones in the, uh, on the ship or whatever, and she doesn't want him to talk to him because like he's stalking her because <laughs> like he woke her up on his ship and she didn't want to be woken up and so like that's i think that that's the whole point of the movie is that maybe that was what happened at the end of the film is like you hear aurora's like voiceover but maybe she's actually talking to them because maybe she fixed the auto dot and like the movie wasn't finished then or like i hadn't finished reconstructed the game yet so like they didn't know how it was going to play out so it was all modeled after fable so like they didn't know how it was going to play out but i think that where we are now is it did play out because i did go and reconstruct that was the whole thing is that there was only one auto dock and they couldn't both go back to sleep or whatever so and like if they both can hold your heart so maybe that's what happens i did go and reconstruct the other game and i thought the cross and i like got my soul out of the river or out of the fountain so like maybe that is actually what happened at the end of the movie because that none of these movies actually i don't think ended like, since I made the Minecraft game and the ship hit the iceberg, like, I don't know if any of these, like, I don't know if any of the movies that were made actually had endings. <laughs> and so, like, I wonder if, like, this is the ending of the Passengers movie, which is that, like, maybe it was actually Aurora that was actually literally talking to everyone on the microphones and was like, hey, this is what happened. Like, you all, like, we all got knocked unconscious. We both thought that we were going to die. <laughs> um, like, we both thought we were going to die. And so, like, there's, that's why all of these greenery and stuff is happening, because we were just, like, hanging out, because, like, we didn't know, there was only one auto dock, but maybe they just built another auto dock, or maybe, because, again, they were on the ship for a long time, so, like, the, like, initial thing that you would think in your brain is that they died, and then, like, the people, like, arrived on set too, and then they just had this, like, story of what happened to them or whatever, but it's actually really possible that they all just woke up, and Aurora is just talking to them. And it's just telling them, like, oh, yeah, like, we, like, saved this ship, it almost blew up, but then we saved it, and, like, it's cool now. And, like, because we've, like, you know, we re reconstructed the auto dock, or we just built another one. Because they were on the ship for, like, ever. <laughs> so, like, I think that that's the whole point, is it is probably implied that they had plenty of time. I mean, it is implied that they have plenty of time to, like, learn how to build another auto dock. Because that was the whole point, like... They were saying, like, you, she, like only one of them could go back to sleep, and then they were, one of them would have been trapped on the ship forever, like, uh, like awake forever. But then they didn't do that. And so maybe that was actually what happened, is that there was a ton of time left. And so, like, you, were, like, you would think, like, like, the initial thought is that it's like they probably just died on the ship. But it's actually very really possible that since they had a ton of time, and since they didn't, like, strand the other one, 
they probably would have had time to like figure out how to make another auto dot or if there was another one that they had not seen because all of these were spur of the moment things that were happening that were happening in the heat of the moment because they thought they were going to die so like if you were to think about it there was all of these grass and this greenery that had grown and stuff and there was like these little tree houses that they made so it was very possible that like since with it was green it was on fire but it was green because they like extinguished the fire and they healed the ship so like you would think that actually they probably had time once they like had gotten themselves together to be like oh we thought we were gonna die then so we didn't know how to make another auto dock or we didn't know how to fix this one or whatever but then like there was time and they were like oh now that like things have settled like we can just be like oh let's just make another one let's just learn how to make another one they were trying to learn how to make a door i think at one point so they probably did, they had plenty of time to learn how to build another auto dock and possibly they went back to sleep and didn't actually die and then when they all well, the people woke up she might have actually literally been talking to them and being like hey i know you guys think that i'm dead probably but i'm actually not <laughs> and i'm just like telling you this story about this auto dock because we made two of them when we were up to sleep and now we're all awake at the same time that's probably what actually happened boom okay but anyways and then lastly so now let's go over like the water scene and like this inner piece double l water scene because i'm like really interested to see this scene in the wish worth making um the the end of the time frame like the scene where it's like a shower because remember they said show yourself because it was like beauty and the beast i had gotten trapped in kansas and like i like had like eugene says my real name is eugene fitzherbert like he actually just was like forced into an unhygienic situation because he got kidnapped and so i think that that's what like show yourself it's like a shower because like and also it was a meteor shower that's also important because my uh ceiling tile i shot an arrow into the sky i've also uploaded these photos which are also in the beginning of the time frame so like it was a meteor shower that's what my that's what the thing is i shot the arrow at the sun and there was a meteor shower so like that's also important because she said show yourself because they found me like the person the corona person they found me. but then also my friends were depressed because that was the whole point uh tangle and tangle like eugene and rapunzel are dancing in the kingdom dance but like everybody doesn't know that it's them the whole like, they don't know she's kidnapped when they meet her. So, like, I think that that's the whole point of the movie. Is that it's like, I went to Corona, but, like, not everybody knew that I was kidnapped when I when they were, like, all the people that Elsa knows in Arendelle, they don't know that she is kidnapped. Or, like, Agnar, for example. Like, they didn't know where Agnar was. He's their king, but they didn't know what happened to him. He was just lost in the forest or whatever. And so, like, I think that that was what happened. Is that it's like, he like agnar like is they don't know i think what is actually happening is just like how the people who meet rapunzel don't know that rapunzel is um don't know that rapunzel is the lost princess or whatever like they don't know that and then like in corona in arendelle like i don't i think people don't know that agnar is elsa and that like the elsa that they've been hanging out with is agnar's soul because agnar's soul was drowning in the river so, like, I think that, that was the whole point of what happened, is that they didn't know that, that Agnar's soul was in the river. And so, like, when he comes back there, like, he is there as, like, a, like, you know, he came out of the river. So he is there as whatever that makes me. Like, I'm here as whatever it makes me that I came out of this river. Um, but I'm alive. I just came out of this river, and people didn't know that. They didn't know that I was lost. Like, the lost empire of Atlantis. <laughs> That's the whole point of the movie. It's like the dark abyss. That was what it was. And that was what it was. They were restoring the light because she said hello darkness, but like they were restoring the light because Elsa comes out with the river. And like she comes out and she, maybe that's even what it is. Cause she even makes a new Olaf because Olaf dies in Oz Holland. She dies in Oz Holland, but then she like makes a new one. And like she makes Agnar and Idina and she puts them in Arendelle. That's the same thing because the river Oz Holland that is Agnar. She brought me back with her. <laughs> and she put me there. It's like she put Olaf there. It's funny as hell. And she put Bruni in the forest to thaw. I figured all of this shit out. <laughs> um, and so, like, that was what happened. And so, I think what would be really, like, what would be really interesting is, like, we have this sand and this water. Cause it's like show yourself water scene. Because that was what it was. It was about a meteor shower. It was about a shower. And a clean, hygienic shower. That's what it is. And so it's like it's showing and also clopen clopen's water in his feet it's like water because like i pretend to do things because it's funny <laughs> and so like agnar is there and he's like oh hey everyone hi um i was just like trapped in kansas and i had to like 
pretend like I cared about religious people for a while, but like I am here and I am home and I'm in Arendelle and I'm just like, hi everyone. <laughs> um, and like, so let's do this kind of like water scene of like how like the, with similar like um, aesthetic of like how there is water in the Clopin scene and like how there is water in Eugene's flood, there's water in the Arendelle flood. And then like that gentle wind that you see in uh, the Wish trailer and then like the wind spirit scenes that where I Darn and Dune are playing in the deleted scene. So like let's and then the little blue e boy that's in the Wish movie. So like let's just do like a little water scene that is like Agnar showering that like um that like because like and then they said Tarzan is covered in mud because Tarzan is an arrow statue. <laughs> and so like Agnar is just like doing this kind of water wind scene where he's like washing this like uh whatever that bronze or gold that is on his body in Arendelle is like so that's like the scene where like like kind of how the lightning strike and then like the uh statues in uh Hercules can talk or like how the rock trolls can come to life or how maybe even that was a trick like the statue talking is a trick because we also have the gargoyles talk in France in uh Paris so we don't know how much of what has happened in my life in these films were a trick. Um, but I'm just kind of connecting these dots for people so that we can investigate and see if any of it was a trick. But it would be so, super cool to see if, like, because um, also the arrow statue is in A Whole New World in Aladdin, and so maybe that was also what was happening because in Hunchback, the gargoyles can talk, and, like, Frollo is jealous of arrows, so, like, that makes sense. Um, that that could have been like he could have made that. He was telling Quasimodo that he was ugly, even though like he probably isn't. <laughs> and like he also that baby, like he might have kidnapped the baby, like from um, Aladdin. Like that might be um, Eros, and he just kidnapped him <laughs> and was telling him like gaslighting him because <laughs> he was jealous. So that's also possible. But um, so like yeah, that because it was gay conversion. Like so that was probably what was happening because he was disgusted. And so, like, that could have been it. I'm just throwing that out there so that people, like, can investigate it. But, yeah, so, like, that's what it is. And so, like, it would be really cool to see this, like, water scene where, like, Agnar is in the forest and he's kind of, like, like, he's, like, awakening, like, Ventus. Like, because there was a battle happening and that was why he woke up. Because there was this battle happening, the same thing that was happening with Aqua and Deletus and Xehanor. It's, like, in the Master Exams. And this was an exam that I was in. Um, and so, like, it was, a, it was a timed exam. So like in a lot of time, <laughs> in a lot of time, like there was an old, I have to do this within the a lot of time. Like so it's December first and Agnar is like, Oh, hello, I'm awake. I'm awakening and I'm just like, Oh hello everybody <laughs> And like you see them doing this water wind scene, just washing this like um mud off of his body or like whatever it is, and you're just like, Oh Hello. <laughs> Hi, Erndo. Hello, people. I was just, like, rotten here, and I'm just like, hi, everyone. <laughs> like, hi, everybody. You guys were just hanging out with my soul. You didn't know it was my soul, but you were just hanging out with my soul. Elsa. <laughs> and I'm just like, hi, everyone. I'm the Arrow statue. You were hanging out with my soul, and, like, I just dropped my enchantment. I'm like, hi, everybody. <laughs> hey, people. I'm just, like, washing this water off of myself, and I'm like, hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Here's my authentic voice. It's like, hi. <laughs> hi, Aaron. <Bell. laughs> and it should be really funny. I think it'd be really cool. And like, have it have this kind of like inner peace, like aesthetic. And this wind is just like very gently, very, very gently and easily like washing this like mud off of my body. And you see Agnar's like beautiful gold hair just like be washed like in like the flood and tangled and like the flood and. And frozen too and you just see all this beautiful like wind and water just like washing this like all of the authentic inauthenticness of, off of me and just like restoring myself to everything that has been like um deemed authentic by myself in the same fellowship and it would just be like in like fully blue full freedom of speech just as blue as blue gets <laughs> and it would just be so beautiful like the israel flag native america all the beautifulest blue things that have ever bloomed. And it would just be so beautiful, the Blue Neighborhood Trilogy, four of the Blue Neighborhood Trilogy. It would just be so beautiful, oh my gosh. But yeah, so that's what we should do. Because again, it's also, it's frozen. I don't need money. They were looking for somebody who didn't have any money. Me. That's why he's a statue, I bet. Because, like, they were looking for someone who was immobile because he didn't have any money. <laughs> 
because it also is, that's also important because like um keto specifically says i have more money in um think hero six which is auto hauling um and so like there's i think that was like a clue because they were looking for somebody who is like trapped or stuck in the past and you they were looking for somebody who was trapped in the past i think because i don't really need money but i got kidnapped and they were trying to force me to need money so that was how they were looking for that specific person and the person who could actually tell them like yeah that's what's happening like that's who you're looking for and that's who i need <laughs> um so like that would be really interesting because like that's what the fountain is and that's what that statue is it has water in it but people don't really can't really tell that it does and like even at the beginning of the film you see that like podium and you see like there's this like thing that looked this like kind of triangular pyramid thing that looks like it opens and so like maybe that's just what it is it's like what that scene could be is like sort of the equivalent of that thing opening and agnar just being like oh <laughs> hello and doing this beautiful like like i'm telling you like i'm actually animating we're going to animate this now like what it actually looks like when that mist opens in Arendelle, because i mean it, it has it can look in it can look multiple ways but like one of the ways that it can look in Arendelle is like it's just like this beautiful mist opening just like kind of how the rock trolls come to life when you start talking to them like this beautiful like that so like the the uh the pyramid that elsa and anna are at like in the beginning of the movie like that opens up and then you see this like beautiful wind this dazzling wind show and you're like oh hello and agnar is just kind of like showing himself in Arendelle and just like washing this water off of his body and like washing the oldness off of his body like the i'll show myself in Arendelle with power soap and feet that um that statue of magnifico that's in um that's in uh Arendelle, which again that was made with the selfless thing of bob Iger or whatever so like that was intentional like so people have the reference that it's like it looks old because somebody was controlling my body that's what the enchantment is it's like the ugliness melts away because that was somebody controlling my body we broke the dam and that was why there's a, like a young Agnar, er, er, Agnar statue in Arendelle. And so this like, and like what they were taking the stand against King Magnifico was the selfless person, like the person that was like controlling my body. Because they were trying to get Agnar and be like, hey, this is a human being. <laughs> um, but yeah, and so like, I think what would be really beautiful is if we see like this like beautiful wind, like in this beautiful mist and like this water, just like cascading upon Agnar just like washing the, the like uh washing the like mud and gold and bronze off of his body and he's just like oh hello <laughs> hi everyone <laughs> my body was glowing because i was coming out of this river and i was coming out of this river with my friend's soul my friend danielle's soul and i was like hi everybody <laughs> i'm agnar i'm the king of arendelle <laughs> i just came home king of arendelle <laughs> <laughs> like hello hello i just did this audition i'm bridging the magic of nature in our actual world <laughs> and i'm just like hello arendelle <laughs> i just came home king of arendelle <laughs> I, i'm eugene i'm agnar i'm eugene fitzherbert i'm agnar <laughs> of the southern isles <laughs> and i just came home <laughs> king of arendelle <laughs>